Hello everyone, welcome back to Online Master. Okay, so we have uh, this question right here to solve on the screen. And so we have uh, x uh, power x is equal to 12. Okay, so and we are going to be solving this uh, if you are watching us on uh, YouTube and of course you are stumbling upon our channel for the first time. Do what to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content, you actually get to know about it and of course if you are actually watching us on facebook do well to also like the video or share the video and also follow us on facebook so that of course you will always get updated each time we release new content okay so having done that we're just going to proceed with this video okay so what i'm going to do uh, here first is I am actually gonna split this for so let's just start with that okay so uh, the left hand side is x power x and then I can actually write um, 12 as uh, 4 times 3 okay so next I will also simplify this 4 so I can write this 4 as 2 power 2 and then times a three right here okay so the next thing i want to do is actually to take the log of both sides or the natural log of both sides so that i can actually be able to uh, bring this power x down then okay so if i do that i'm going to ha have natural log of x power x is equal to the natural log of 2 power 2 and then multiplied by okay so moving on uh, using the property of log i'm just going to bring this one down right here so i have x natural log of x is equal to so i'm also going to split this over here you know in log reading when you have a multiplication you're actually going to expand that uh, to be plus okay so what i'm going to be having is natural log of 2 power 2 and then plus the natural log of uh, 3 right here so that what i have next is x natural log of x is now equal to so doing the same thing i did earlier on so i'm going to bring down this two so this is two natural log of two okay plus natural log of three okay so the next thing i want to do is uh, to take the lambda double function of both sides and we can remember the lambda double function if you have a exponential a uh, this is actually going to be the only time you can take the lambda double function so that if you now pass a lambda double function into uh, this uh, function right here is actually going to give you a so before i apply that here i must have to also find a way to simplify this to be in form of this you just need to remember that we can actually express x as uh, exponential ln x okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this with this x over here so that what i have is going to be exponential natural log of x and then multiply by this natural log of x right here and of course it's equal to uh, 2 natural log of 2 and then plus natural log of 3 right here okay so moving on i'm also going to bring this one right in so i have natural log of x exponential natural log of x is equal to 2 natural log of 2 plus a natural log of 3 right here so you can see that i have got uh, something similar to what I have right here. So it is now that I can go ahead to pass a lambda double function. Okay, so if I do that, I'm going to be having a lambda double function of this side. And then, of course, let me put this at a uh, lambda double function of this side. You remember that the lambda w function of a exponential a is actually going to give you a in this case this is actually standing for our a the length the natural log of x and of course we also see that right here. so this whole thing we have here is actually going to collapse the natural log of x and of course is equal to the lambda w function of two 
natural log of 2 plus natural log of 3 okay so next for me to be able to get uh, my x i'm just going to take the exponent of both sides okay so i have exponent natural log of x is equal to exponent the lambda w function of 2 natural log of 2 plus natural log of 3 okay so exponent of uh, natural log is actually going to give us one so what i have here left is just x okay so finally my x is actually going to be the exponent of number the wave function of two natural log of two and then plus natural log of three and this is what we are going to be having and then when you simplify this when you go to wolf from alpha.com and then compute this whole thing right here you're going to be having your final answer will be 2.6003 okay and of course it is to uh, four decimal places this is actually what you are going to be having as your answer okay so that is how you actually solve this kind of question and uh, i hope you've enjoyed the video make sure that you hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more updates and of course turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content you actually get to know about it share this video with your friends and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye